For most of our lives, we are taught to learn material, study it, then take a test on it. It's no surprise we don't retain most of the information we learn, because let's face it, what are we going to need to know ninth grade biology to get us through life? With some uptight, strict, dull teacher that couldn't care less what happens to their students, the students are still expected to overachieve the goals that the school sets. While we're being forced to conform in the little minions that are labeled by test grades, the bright colors that are seen through our eyes turn to gray. We're taught to follow the rules when all we want to do is challenge them. At Chargers Valley High School, there's a glimmering hope that sparks inside their most important resource, the teachers. While there are many strict teachers inside the district, the key component of the school are the teachers that realize that the lessons we learn about life are more important than the ones that we learn inside of a textbook. How many years have you taught at CV for? Uh, 21. This is my sixth full year at Chartiers Valley. 42. 42 years. 19. And what would you classify your teaching style as? Well, first, my, my first rule is that I build a relationship with my kids, my students. I said, that's the first. Because if I don't have a working relationship with them, then I, and I don't expect them to want to work with me. And then second of all, I want to show my excitement and love for uh, what I'm teaching. Because if I don't love it, then there's no reason why I should ask my students to love it and to do all the work. So yeah, I'd say that. I'd say really try to get interactive. Uh, I consider myself to be a teacher who's uh, laid back and allows uh, the students to discover uh, their own learning. I'm a pretty relaxed teacher. Just as long as everybody's kind of working towards their goals in life, they're going to be okay. Uh, I'm more of a facilitator than a teacher. Um, like not the classic sense of teacher. I, I kind of try to bring some worthwhile information and then show you how to use it for your real life experiences. Um, so it's not just like all like testing and quizzes and stuff like that. I, I really like creative stuff. Uh, what's your favorite thing about being a teacher? The kids. Um, sounds kind of corny, but it's the students. Guys make me laugh every day. Can't have a bad day. Oh, I just love it. I mean, I get to work with the most important resource that this country has, possesses, and that's you, young people. They are, I, we don't need all other stuff. You're the resource, and I get to come in here every day and do it. Do you remember any influential teachers that uh, impacted how you teach? Yeah, um, I had some great teachers at, uh, at Baldwin High School uh, back in the 80s. I'm an old guy. Um, yeah, Mr. Bernardzi was a social studies teacher, and he was just super cool. I, mean, I learned so much. Um, and another social studies teacher, Mr. Mackey, um, he was just like really organized. Um, you would think he was like, you know, very traditional, but he would tell these awesome stories. And uh, I, I think I took away, you know, some of those things from those guys. And um, my math teacher taught me that, um, you know, as long as you're trying your best, you should get rewarded for it. So I'm not a very good math student. And uh, as long as I you know, did my homework and tried, he made sure I had a C. And uh, I kind of took that philosophy with me in teaching. What's your main goal for your students? Uh, to become critical thinkers and think, them, think for themselves. Uh, to think for themselves. I want them to um, come out and be thinkers people who ask questions, people who don't just take things in life as it's given to them, that they're proactive in their life, that they live their life and doesn't have life done to them. And the way you do that is, uh, you know, you, you manage your life. You don't, uh, you, you ask questions, you, 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 you make decisions on your own and not uh, uh, somebody do it for you. Be a thinker, that's a thing. And that's why, for example, in class, I really try to stress people asking questions. Because when they ask questions, that, that's more thinking than the answers. The answers are done. They're finite. The thinking is the question. Because of these people, students will be prepared for the real world and not some standardized test to be judged by. They're equipped with the power to think for themselves. The power to know right from wrong. The 
power to be good people because the power the next generation has is greater than any negativity a person, community, or country can give.